Hello and welcome to Modkit Mayhem. Today we're tackling the foliage you see on the side of vehicles. I'd done some on the actual Hummel project and I didn't actually go into great detail about how I'd, I'd actually done that so I thought I'd remedy that with this video. So I think the tree is a cypress or it could be a juniper. I'm no tree expert but that's the kind of tree I use. Um, I noticed a long time ago that when you were cutting them there was a lot of little dead leaves or branches inside and they were very very fine. If you cut them and then dried them, you could you could use them for a kind of foliage kind of effect. They're not really scale, but they, they do look like that. And the older, particularly the with the earlier sort of dead branches, they're smaller and much finer. So if you can find them, then they're perfect. So I went about by cutting some pieces out from uh, some old branches I'd cut down. And then I made a mixture of diluted PVA glue and soaked them in the PVA and then let them dry. Just to, to kind of make them a little bit harder so they didn't snap when you were painting them although they are still very delicate. Now once I'd let them dry, I then cut off the lower leaves because they don't look to scale. Branches that are sort of a bit too in the way, just snap them off. And then you can cut, cut the stem back down. And then just snip the end. So I got three branches together that I'd, um, I'd covered in, uh, in PVA. I used some dark green, uh, kind of the darkest kind of bodigy green that I had, and put that in. It's in the Flames of Watches of Vallejo paint. German camo green, I think it is. German dark camo green. And I applied that fairly thick, pretty much straight from the bottle. I didn't water it down at all, I just put it onto the palette. painted it on as, as quick as possible. You have to be very careful here, it's very easy to snap the branches still even though they're covered in PVA. Although it does help that they, they have had some sort of glue on them, otherwise they're very dry and they just snap. But yeah, just liberally paint that on with a bit of care. If you get stuck where you feel it's putting too much tension on the actual branch, just rest it on a piece of tissue and then paint with the tissues taking the weight. It's actually quite, quite a nice little job, painting the branches, quite calming. And as you can see already, the kind of branches look quite good as they are. Although I'll add some extra paint just to give a bit of highlight and make it a little bit more complex. But they don't look too bad. And as you can see, it does look like a kind of a fir tree branch. Once I've got the three painted, I just let them dry for quite a while just to make sure the paint sort of was really tough. If you look at fir trees, some particular, I think it's noble fir, has a very light kind of almost spearminty kind of blue colour underneath them. So I mixed up some of that and applied that to the underneath side or the underside of the actual branches. It just kind of gives it a bit of depth. Again, this is not watered down, it's just mixed straight paint. If you make the paint too watery, it just bleeds in between the actual gaps and looks very messy. It's not dry brushing, but it's almost like that. Don't have to be too cautious, you just make sure you just cover the underside and don't worry if it goes a little bit over to the side because you'll use a lighter green on that anyway. Straight away you notice it, it looks it looks a lot better. Again, if it's tricky and you feel like you're going to snap a branch, just push it down onto a piece of tissue and use that to support the underside of it. It helps a lot and saves you worrying about breaking actually many of the kind of the loose parts off. It does happen, you don't worry about it. You know, you can kind of avoid it a little bit. You could use any colour because fir trees are, you know, they can be from quite bright green down to this very much darker bluey sort of tint. It's up to you really. Use what colour you want and what you've got. And if it's only going to honor the vehicle, then whatever color the vehicle is could look good with a brighter or a darker color. So once I'd done that, I let them dry again and uh, and then I just needed another color. So really you're only using three colors really, although I did mix the kind of spearmint blue. You could actually paint the branch as in the woody sort of part of it, but actually when it's shaved away properly with a knife, it looks quite good anyway. So a varnish on that would probably look, look okay. So this is the lighter colour. I went for a German reflective green because it's quite bright. Not massively bright, but bright enough. Actually, I had to mix a little bit of off-white just to get, make it even brighter again. Because when I first started applying it, you couldn't really make it out. 
so I added a bit of white just to ping it out a little bit. With this, you just you're probably not as you're not applying it as much. The inside to be a mint color, you want to make sure there's a good covering on this. You're kind of more of a dry brush, a much heavier dry brush, but it's a dry brush more more kind of in style, so that you're still seeing the darker color you initially painted. You just want to kind of fleck the tops, the lighter areas, and see how it how it looks. I mean, you could probably even could do another even lighter highlight on top of this, but uh, for me, I think this was enough. Again, be careful it's very easy to snap the little branches so take your time and don't put too much pressure on just light it's time for to get a new uh, color palette I actually am toying with actually trying this wet palette kind of style I've never done that so I'll be interesting so if it helps out or if next if I do a figure paint at some point because I need to get back into that because I haven't done a lot of painting for a while so I'm a bit rusty but um, yeah I think a wet palette would be better and actually supposed to save your paint because you can see I've used quite a bit of paint there on that palette though so, uh, it looks interesting but it's time for a new one and here you have it here's how they look on a vehicle I mean I'm not actually gonna apply this to the vehicle but it, I just want to show you how it looks on the actual side of a vehicle and it kind of seems to work really well with German yellow yeah I'm quite chuffed with it it looks good and I think worth a go if you if you've got a chance and you've got you can get access to a juniper or a cypress one of the two you can get into one of those trees you know grab a few branches it's always worth it when you're on a walk that's it thank you very much for watching it's only a short one this week next week i'll be building something so i can get on with the panther the following week but thank you very much for watching like and subscribe below and i'll see you on next one cheers thank you bye